Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, good evening, everybody. I hope everything is okay. If not, you can explain on the chat. Let's see what's going on. All right, good. Anybody else? Good evening, good evening. Okay. I have messages from Emerson, Fernando, Manuel. That's it. Mm hmm
Good evening, Mr. Jura. Hello, good evening. Everything okay? All right. All right, no problem. Okay, we're going to get started. This is our session number 19. Well, after tomorrow, it's one week more. For the end of this course, I hope everyone can have more participation. And remember that attendance. The generality is about the attendance and the participation in the session, of course, in your respective behavior. All right, let's have attendance because that's the next thing we have to do. Just go ahead and see something right here. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay, here we go. All right. Very nice. Let's start. Abigail. Present teacher. Hi. Atilio. Elizabeth. Emerson. Present teacher. Hello. Fernando. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. No here. Okay. Mm, next is Hazel. Juan Antonio. Julissa. Darla, Luis Javier, not here, Luis Miguel. Miguel, Manuel, present, Marilyn, hi, Marilyn, Mario, present, hi, Roberto, presentation, no. Ronald. Present. Hello. Victor. Vidal. Present teacher. Hello. Buen dia. 
That was the attendance. Okay. I see a couple of more messages. Stephanie and Miss Miguel and Marilyn saying person on the chat. Okay. Well, I will. I will be sharing. Yeah, the screen with your manual. So we ended this unit, la I mean, just last class yesterday, and we started talking about inventory. So we were explaining about the relevance and importance of having effective inventory and management. So then we were talking about what the companies do with items that have expiration dates and what happens to those products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market. So what happens if they have a lot of these products on stock, right? So we were discussing, we were describing what would happen to these products. And of course, we practiced through a conversation which was the opening of this unit, right? So Sarah was asking Ramon um, how, I mean, management, inventory management work, right? So they were uh, discussing and, and giving ideas of what to do. In the case, we have uh, too much product and inventory and is not easy at a certain point to sell or to distribute this product. Right. Wait, one second. Something is wrong with my earphones. All right. So then we're discussing and answering these questions, right? Of course, these are not daily conversation topics, probably. And it's a little bit uh, challenging to have a conversation regarding this topic. So my suggestion is that you take your time and, and do some research, some investigation, because you will need this vocabulary to communicate in this context, definitely, right? So this is what we were doing yesterday. We were describing, um, yeah, some process and what the companies do with this type of product, especially focusing on these questions, right? Explain the relevance of an effective venture management and does your company handle items expiration, but, sorry, items with expiration dates and what happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? So, yeah, I remember a couple of the participants that were saying that it all depends on the type of products and the type of business and how they handle these things. All right. So we, we're done with this lesson. So we're going to get started with this other lesson. And it talks about vocabulary and inventory, right? So you get this. Let me just first uh, show you. A couple of images I got to make this a little bit easier to digest. Because as I said, I can explain the relevance of effective inventory. Inventory management, design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system, design a proposal to implement a cycle count program, identify the main idea and key details in a passage about inventory management. So practically this would be, um, developed throughout these two classes in last week. Okay, so as I was saying, there, there are some pictures right here for you to get some ideas of what the vocabulary you have of the manual refers to. So definitely having products on stock, you know, 
this is something very, very common nowadays because whenever you go to a business and you don't have cash and you have a debit or credit card with you, so you just, I mean, request to pay with a card. And of course, nowadays, it's, I mean, they have like this portable uh, post so they can just bring you this artifact or, <laughs> or how they call it, okay? And then you just get things paid. All right. So, uh, we, you know, collecting this type of um, vocabulary says stop keeping in it. A unique alphabetic, alphabetic clean and numeric, right? So alphabetic code or retailer assigns to each of its products to distinguish them from each other and manage inventory. So that's one definition, inventory management, the process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's raw materials, components, and finished products. Point of sale, so that's the famous pause we know, place where customers execute the payment for goods or services and where sales taxes may become payable, right? And we have a spoilage, abnormal spoilage, right? But usually we just find like a spoilage, the amount of waste or destruction of inventory mm -hmm. that a firm ex experience beyond what is expected in normal business or operation or production process. So I found this first spin and first style. So they, they found it like FIFO, like FIFO. So the assess and inventory management approach in which assess, produce, or acquire first are sold, used, or disposed of first. So these are some of the vocabulary you will find here on the in the manual, so you will have to read based on what I already explained, what I already showed. So you will have to match the definitions with the words, okay? So I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to take a look and decide which one is the correct letter, all right?
Okay, do you see my window? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm watching your screen. Um, with the first one, stock, uh, what definition do you, you match? I match the number The second one. The second one. Uh, inventory tracking is a software system used to keep a record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Mm. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, the second one, repl replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. Yeah, I, the number one. I put the number four because restock. Oh yes, yes, yes. You're right. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh huh. Because I, I think that is replenishes when you have to refill or I have yes. to refill. The third one is the time and place where a retail transition transition is completed. Uh huh. What you what you put? I put point of sale. Uh huh. Me too. I'm not sure because I always, uh, I always have thing have thought the POS like a, a terminal like like a machine, but, aha, uh -huh, it is. But the point of sale, I think that is the more accurate of the definition that it could be much. Yes, the fourth one is items with expiration dates like food or even cosmetic that can become rotten or usable if not sold in time. I put I match it with number five. Yes, uh -huh, just me too. It's spoilage or but it could be a potential waste uh, because you could you could it couldn't be. It will not possible to recover all this uh, once expired. It will not be possible to recover these these items. These items. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The number. The 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 next one. The oldest inventory items are recorded as, as sold first. Is the number the number seven first in first out. Yes, actually, these people. Um, I was checking that I only, well, the first one, the stock, I think uh, it's that the merchandise kept in the warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Mm -hmm. I agree yeah. with that. And the inventory tracking, don't know which, but the point of sale is the the first one is the software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Which one? Uh, the first, the first description, the point of sale. The time and place. Uh -huh. No, no, that's a software used software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Mm -hmm. The point of sale. Point of sale. Uh, the number two inventory tracking. Um, maybe maybe is the the items with expiration expiration expiration. I have to ask dates like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten or unusable if not sold in time. No, I, I, I have my doubts with that. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think that the the the, the a software system used to keep record of inventory level. That's inventory tracking. Mm. Um, the time and place where the retail transaction is complete as the POS. POS is a point of sale. <laughs> it's the place where the customer mm. go to Do pay. It uh, the, the place where the transition is complete. Okay. And the one that you say that it was 
item with expiration date, like food or even cosmetics. That one I had that is a spoilage. Mm, what's the meaning of spo spoilage? It's like echar a perder. Uh... It's like. Okay, well, the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first is the, the seven, right? First and first out. Well, number seven. seven. Wait, which one, excuse? The oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. Ah, yes, the seven, first in and first, uh -huh, first out, yes. Okay, let's see. Um, the amount that should be available at any time for an item. When an item falls below par, it is replenished. Mm. That one is, I think that is par level. Yeah. And the last one, the replenish is the Restock number number four. Uh, replenish a store with the stock or supplies. Huh? Replenish. So the the list is the well number two, four, three, five, seven, one, and six. Yes. Okay. Spoilage is uh como echar echado a perder. It's like something general. It's like podrirse but in general. Uh, and the other word was um, uh, where is it? Replenish, transaction can be called unusual. I don't know, it says unusual or unusual. I don't know. And uh, was the other one Replen replenished or replenished? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Replenish is like if something um, uh, is it, well, it's like um, if something is finished, you have to do it again. No, it's like mm. it's like to to change something when it. It's like when you do a a, a recheck. Mm, no, it's more like it might that you saw that you have to have five boxes of chocolate in your store. And when uh -huh. that five boxes are sold, you have to put another five boxes of chocolate to sell. It's, oh. like, it's like to rotate that. You always yeah. have, uh, have the, the, that, that amount of chocolate in the store. I I had I had to supply that that mm -hmm. amount of chocolate. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. We're good.
All right, everyone return. Yes. Well, let's see. Please. All right. Stock. The number one, what's the meaning of a stock? Is the last one. Number seven? Yes, the amount I mean, that yeah, the one that is next to number seven. Yes, sorry. Uh -huh. The amount that should be available at any time for an item when an item falls below par, it is replenished. Okay, replenished. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> Anybody has something different? I put that stock is merchandise kept in the warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Yes, actually, I was uh, doubting if that was the term. So you were between more... those two. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh, yeah, I think stock is merchandise kept in a warehouse. That's right. So this should be number one. All right, inventory tracking is a uh, is the first one. A software system used to keep a record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. That's right. I think that concept is very common. Even track on something, right? Tracking something, so it's keeping the record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. All right. EOS or POS, <laughs> point of sale. The time and place where a retail transaction is completed. Okay, time and place where retail transaction is completed. Let's try. Okay. For stock. Number four. Replenish a store with fresh stock or supplies. Mm -hmm. This will be number four. Okay, it's foliage. Items with expiration dates like food or even cosmetics that can become rotten or reusable if not sold in time. Yeah. I I think I heard some people were uh, hesitating with the pronunciation of rotten or unusable. Not possible to be used, right? Unusable. Right, so this should be number five. Mm -hmm. Okay, part levels. Mm -hmm. My goodness. First level. It is the amount that should be available at any time for an item. When an item falls below par, mm -hmm. it is replenished. That's right. This number six. And first thing, first style, like the things that we buy in the house as well, right? We have our own stock. And we say, oh, these are the oldest things. So we should use this one before. All right. So the oldest inventory items are recorded as sold first. Okay. So this should be number seven. All right. Great. Is there any question? No? Okay. One second. All right.
Okay. Next exercise, you write five sentences. Choose five of the items above from this one and write a sentence for each. Obviously, you have to relate this to venture, right? So you can say anything about stock, anything about Spanish. I think these are the easiest ones for what we get, pause as well, inventory tracking, first thing, first out, right? So use these words in a sentence. An example could be, um, Spanish is something that really affects uh, business owners because products that get damaged or rotten or are expired are no longer available or not longer good for sales or for distribution. So that means they have to be disposed, to they have to be destroyed, right? So anything related to this vocabulary in a sentence. All right, you just have to choose five, not the seven of them. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to think of a sentence in which this uh, vocabulary could be used. And of course, we return and compare what we have with what our partners have. All right.
Yeah. I'm finishing. I'm finishing the the sentences. Uh, what do you have? I I have my five sentences. Ah, okay, okay. So if you give me uh, two or three minutes to finish. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I will do. Did you complete the sentences? No, I will do two. Oh, I, okay. have, I have. I have no more examples. <laughs> uh, and you? Uh, yeah, I have completed. Well, mm -hmm. for example, the store is low on stock. So they need to order more products. Mm. Said, they upgraded the point of sale system to make it easier for customers to check out. And that is spoilage. Bueno, to prevent the spoilage, the restaurant is now more careful with full storage. Uh, they use a simple spreadsheet for inventory tracking to keep track on their products. And uh, the kitchen always keep part levels of basic ingredients to ensure they never run out during busy times. <clears throat> Practice. Uh, Always for a restaurant. I just have uh, to, um, my workplace has uh, inventory tracking 
to keep track of the amount of office supplies they have. And the other one, they have a bountiful stock of, of office supplies. Yeah, there's just not. Oh, okay. Uh, like webs, últimas entradas, primeras salidas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I, I, I always have had the because the most logical is the the first the first that you that you buy is logical. That is the first that you that you sold or that you use, right? Because it's for the expiration. But I, I don't, I. I don't know in what um in what applications, for example, in your in your point of view as a programmer or like uh in what applications it could be used the uh, LIFO, the uh, that it could be useful, the last in and first out. Because you 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 are accumulating the 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 antiquity the antiquity of the of the all items. Yeah, because if you only give priority to the last items that you that uh, that you are increasing to the inventory, when you will when you will use the the whole inventory. Yes, uh, LIFO method is has like a good. Well, it's actually for the stores that are non perishable. Uh -huh, for for, for non-perishable foods or uh -huh, and, and that uh, uh for example in a supermarket it couldn't be it, it couldn't be possible to to adopt a LIFO uh, a LIFO system. The idea that the first merchandise to leave is the last to enter. So it is like the con like the is the, the difference between FIFO because it's like the I don't know how to say al revés. It's vice versa. I don't know. Uh -huh. uh huh. It's vice versa. Uh huh. Because it's for for antiquity that you that it should be, that it should use the the most the the old ones the so, yes. the old items. So the most important difference between FIFA and LIFO is that the LIFO is for storing non-perishable products that with no uh -huh. lose value over time or spark. Uh-huh. Right. But but I think that I, it, it, even it, if it is applicable to non-perishable foods, I think, for example, if, if you are looking for technology, if you have a study of technology, if you, if you implement LIFO, I don't know if it could be because the because every year or every I don't know every trimester or every semester there are new processors or are improvements in 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 capacities in laptops and and cell phones. So if you if you have a, a LIFO, you will be accumulating the old technologies or the uh, the the previous versions of of some products. So uh, I don't know if you, because you would be yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you're uh -huh. right. You, uh -huh. but, but maybe it depends on the kind of business that you have. Because if your business is like from construction, I think uh -huh. that the materials that you use, no matter when you use when you will use it, for example, bricks bricks over time always will be bricks. It's uh -huh. not a computer that every year it is a, com a new computer, but bricks always going to be bricks. <laughs> uh -huh. Always the, the material is is not affected. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. I don't so know how you say it. It will menu. depend on the kind of business. Uh -huh. I don't know how you say a menos, despite, I think. Mm -hmm. um, 
और आप ये
All right, done. Yes. Okay, any, anyone would like to share at least two or three sentences? The inventory tracking, it is important for data analysis. Mm -hmm. The other one is my company should restock their stores every week. All right. Anyone else? I have, I should hire a provider of point of sale POS services. Mm -hmm. um, I should evaluate my projections to avoid high spoilage levels. Right. And uh, due to increase demand this month, we had to restock more times. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Very accurate. Very good. Someone else? Um, the kitchen always keep part levels of basic ingredients to ensure they never run out during busy times. Mm -hmm. They use a simple spreadsheet for inventory tracking mm -hmm. to keep track on their products. Mm -hmm. To prevent spoilage, the restaurant is now more careful with full storage. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay. And the store is low on stock. So they need to order more products. All right. Very good. Anyone else? Okay, good. Nice. Well, give me one second. Just wanna make sure something is properly. Okay. Oh yeah, this is an easy one. I'll share a link for you to work on this exercise. It's a very easy one. You just have to classify the products. Give me one second. I'll put it right here on the chat. Okay, there you go. Working it. Once you're done, we're gonna compare. Let's see. Now you just have to classify what type of item it is so that we can put them in the inventory. Okay, you just have to drag and drop. Ah, you gotta make sure that you order them in out. Alphabetical order, actually. <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. All right.
I will leave you finish. No, I have to problem with. But I, I have that with something. Me too. But this is uh, actually it's weird. This is weird because we have to draw and draw. But I will, I have to write it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then I send it and apparently I have all wrong. Me too. <laughs> And a part, a part of that, we should order the the terms by alphabetic order. Yes, but it's weird this exercise. Yes. And and the other thing is that you can write in the term also, not not in in the empty boxes. Mm -hmm. That's also crazy. Design it in a weird way, this thing. Yes. But, anyways, what do you put it in restaurants? Cheesecake, cheeseburger sandwich, a slush, and only that. And nachos? Nachos, I try to put this in movie theater. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, it could be in movie theater. I put frozen movie and soda. Mm -hmm. In food store, I put apple, frozen fries, and a slush. But to be honest, I don't know what is a slush. That is like a drink. Okay. In hotel, I put bed, chair, room, and sheet. <laughs> sheet, I don't know how to say it, but it's like a blank. Not a blank. No, no. <laughs> and in car manufacturer, I put car, car bumper, and tire. Mm -hmm. Me too, that one. Yeah. I think that it not work in the this thing the the have it, uh, the review. Yes. Well, we have. Let's see what teacher says about it. Okay. All right, you finish?
Yes. All right. Let's let's see. We got restaurant, movie theater, food store, hotel, and car manufacturer. In restaurants, which one do you consider should go there? I know there were some uh, technical issues with the page, probably. Yeah, the setting was not completely done, but let's just classify them. In restaurant, I put, I put cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Cheesy burger sandwich mm -hmm. and nachos. And nachos. Actually, if you realize there should be more items, right? Because there are there are 25 spaces and the items were fewer. Okay, okay. for movie theater. Frozen movies soda. Okay, frozen movies and soda. Food store? Apple frozen fries. And I don't know what is a slush, but I put a slush in food store. Okay, slush. Yeah, I think the slush should be better at the movie theater or the restaurant because it's kind of frozen, but it's more liquid. That's a slush. Like a drink. Oh, okay. Like a cold drink. Okay, and let's see, hotel? Bed, share room, and sheet. Sheet. All right. And car manufacturer. Car, car bumper, and tire. Tire. All right. So I think some of the categories were using a couple of items, right? Yeah, the alphabetical order. Never mind. All right. <laughs> I do have this other exercise. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to finish it because it's a little bit long. But I wish you could give it a try at least to the first exercise. Let me see. Well, let's do our best. The first thing we got to do is to check true or false. And the other one, complete the sentences with the word. Let me see if it can be. Oh, yeah, this can be drug. Okay. One second.
But the first one is the inventory, the inventory system is called CPR. I put through. I put false because it's CRP. Yes, CRP. CRP is is nothing to do with the inventory system, right? CPR. <laughs> it is a sales based system. True. True. The system coordinates the flow of information and goods in the logistic chain. Mm -hmm. John Fashion has used the system for six years now. It's false. Mm -hmm. Orders are electronically transferred to the warehouse. True. Mm -hmm. And the sixth one, the store has reduced transport and inventory costs by about 25%. Force. I don't know if any anyone wants to read the other part. Let's no, see. I mean... okay. First, listen again and complete the sentences with the word from the box. Number one, today I'm going to tell you something about CRP that means continuous replenish, replenishment. Um, number two, I will also explain how it can be used to lower inventory and operational costs and to shorten product lead times. Number three, uh, first of all, you decide what product you want to order at what stock level. Number four, the system will use the information at the point of sale in the retail store. Number five, the leading Russian clothes retailer, Young Fashion, introduced continuous replenish replenishment three years ago. Number six, uh, with the new system, all orders are generated by computer, which process data received from cash register registers. Number seven, the orders are sent to the warehouse by electronic data interchange, where they are processed. Number eight, and finally, the goods are delivered to the different outlet according to the to a schedule. Number nine, since the, since the, the introduction of CRP system, Young Fashion have managed to cut inventory and transport costs by about 50%. And the last one, moreover, errors in order, in order processing have been reduced considerably by using the scanning technology and EDI. Yes. It would be great that the, all the Americans speak like that, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's easy to understand them.
All right. Let's see. So the first part, true or false, the inventory system is called CPR. True or false? False. False, right? It is a sales-based system. Mm -hmm. True. The system coordinates the flow of information and goods in the logistic chain. Wow. All right. Young Fashion has used the system for six years now. Zero. Okay. And orders are electronically transferred to the warehouse. Wow. All right. And the store has reduced transport and inventory costs by about 25%. Still. Okay. The other one was, yes, the vocabulary you got right here. Today, I'm going to tell you something about CRP. That means continuous. Replenishment. Mm -hmm. I also explain how it can be used to lower inventory and operational costs and to shorten product. Late times. Okay. Late times. Right? First of all, you decide what products you want to order or what? A stock, a stock level. level. The system will use this information of the At the point of sale? At the point of sale in the retail store. Yes, the leading fashion clothes. Okay. The leading version clothes. Retailer? Retailer. Young fashion introduced continuous replacement. Three years ago. And with the new system, all orders are generated. Generated by computers, which process data receiving from cash registers. And the orders are sent to the warehouse by electronic. Data interchange. That are interchange where they are processed, and finally the goods are delivered to the different outlets according to a schedule. A schedule, and since schedule. the introduction of the CRP system, Young Fashion have managed to cut. Inventory. Inventory and transport costs by about 15% and moreover errors in order. In order processing. In order processing have been reduced considerably by using a scanning technology and EI, in the EDI. Did you find what? EDI is electronic data interchange or right. Oh. 
Well, okay, we've been working a lot of the vocabulary that this lesson presented, and I think we're now very familiar with it. Let's just move on and think of the introductory questions for this next exercise, which is design a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. I think this is not a simple step, but we might come up with some ideas. And how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? And how do, do I determine the right price for my inventory? Well, anyone has any idea how to calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? Maybe with a product plan it or first we have to know how is the market mm -hmm. with the with the, the product that we want to sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely there should be a study, there should be the statistics, numbers of sales, expectations, right? So, and it will depend definitely of the type of business. Not all the business mm -hmm. uh, will have the same right amount and inventor and the right price. You can see because most, most of the time what you want to sell Mm -hmm. anyone is selling it already so you can compare the prices in the market mm -hmm. and try to co to competitive with them mm -hmm. and attract customers right there should be a market study first <laughs> yes definitely all right well girl we're not gonna get deep into giving this arguments because we're not experts in marketing but we're going to practice a little bit of the conversation Lusa and Jorge are talking about the basis on how to keep an organized inventory system read the conversation and take turns practicing it 
I'm having a bad time with my business. Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see. You keep notes of any scrap of paper, George. The first step is to implement and organize inventory management system is getting all of your products and vendors information in one place. I recommend you to do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Oh my God, definitely. <laughs> you gotta be really, really careful. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give you, I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product get the store accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. All right, give you a couple of minutes, try to read it, try to go as natural as possible. So follow, let's say the patterns, the punctuation, so you can sound fluent and accurate. Okay, is there any brave participant who wants to read the whole conversation? Because practically who speaks the most is Susan. Anyone? I can be Jorge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, actually I need somebody who plays Susan. I could okay. do Jorge. <laughs> All right, I'm having a bad time with my business. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper. The first step to impl implement an uh, organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you to do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there constantly. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are falling off, off the back packages. My labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get the store accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Ooh, the bravest. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> done. We're gonna keep working on this on the next class, so don't worry. All right. Trying to have the last attendance. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Abigail. Abigail Elizabeth Torres Hernandez. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Listen. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Fernando Jose Garcia Naya. Here. <laughs> Princess <laughs> Fernando Tarcuña. <laughs> Hazel Vanessa Mejiva Rodríguez. 
Juan Antonio Elías Flores, Julissa Jamilet Villalta Villalta, Carla Irania Anaya Ancheta, Luis Javier Castillo, Magdiela Sao García Morales, Manuel Gracias. Alexandre Vázquez, sí. Marilyn Alejandra Grande, Mario Ernesto Ramírez, Gracias. Roberto Saúl Zelaya, Ronald Alexander Vázquez, Present. Víctor Maedonía, Vidal Byron Ruiz, Waldir de Jesús Lázaro. Present. It sounds like if you have three names, but I know one of those is your last name, Lázaro, right? Yes, Lázaro. Interesting. <laughs> First time I meet somebody with that last name. Carlos Alberto Castro. All right. Thank you for attending. Thank you for being such a great audience and participants. I hope to Present see you tomorrow. Teacher, hey. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank have you, a good Jen. night. Enjoy. Night. See you night. tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Good night.